We investigated the effect of social context on visuotactile multisensory interactions during the somatic signal detection task. In this task, the presence of a light flash next to the body increases both correct and false reports of feeling a near threshold vibration. In this study, we wanted to get a detailed picture of the spatial boundaries over which the light affects touch reports and also investigate the effect of experiencing a shared social touch on these spatial boundaries. In experiment one, 32 females completed a modified version of the somatic signal detection task in which the light could occur at one of five distances from the hand, from one to 40 centimetres. In experiment two, participants did this modified version of the task sat opposite a female confederate and did the task before and after receiving three minutes of interpersonal multisensory stimulation which consisted of receiving brush strokes to their cheeks whilst watching the confederate's cheek being stroked, either synchronously for the experimental group or asynchronously for the control group. In experiment one, the light increased reports of feeling touch at one and nine centimetres from the hand. When it occurred further away from the hand, it reduced the tendency to report feeling touch, leading to a more stringent response criterion and reduced sensitivity. So these results are shown in figure two, which shows the difference in sensitivity and response criterion between light and no light trials at each distance condition. In experiment two, we found a similar pattern of results in the baseline condition, which is shown in figures three and four A for the control group. However, the experimental group showed differences in their baseline performance compared to the control group and the participants in experiment one. There was mixed support for the hypothesis that synchronous interpersonal multisensory stimulation would increase the effect of the light on touch reports at the larger hand light distances. After synchronous um, touch, the experimental group showed a reduced effect of the light on response criterion when it occurred 17.5 centimetres from the hand, but an increased effect of the light on sensitivity when it occurred at 40 centimetres from the hand due to increased light-induced false alarms in this condition. So overall, these results suggest that the social context may affect visuotactile interactions during this paradigm. However, these between-group differences in baseline performance in experiment two make the effects of synchronous interpersonal multisensory stimulation difficult to interpret.